Hello everybody, this is Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment. Today we're going to cover Blender interfaces. This is going to be a very short video, so and it's not very complicated to do. Just play around with what I show you and uh, it's very simple to catch on. Downloaded Blender, I do have a video up on, on how to do that. So go ahead and check that video out if you will. So let's get started. This right here is your flag screen. You can left click to get out of that. But if you come up to the top left corner up here, this little eye, if you come down here, just left click on this little eye and hover over the little eye, it'll tell you it's the main menu. So this is your main bar right up here. You can change that to any one of these options here. Text editor, logic editor, we'll go over all that later on. Uh, your timeline, like right here's your timeline, down here's your timeline. But you could add, you could move these away around any way you want to move them around. And you could also move them back. Like if you wanted to turn this into your 3D view, like this is your 3D view, and you wanted to add another one, it wouldn't really make sense to do. But just as an example, go ahead and left click on that, then left click on the 3D view. Then hover over with your arrow and bring it down. There's your 3D view. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And we'll come back down, left click on that, and come back down to the little eye again. And we're back to our main tab for that. But you can go here and there's, we'll count them up. There's one here, two, see, I left click on that. It's the same info, same options. This is the third one, same options. You can change all these tabs the way you see fit. Then here's the fourth one. This is your main view right here. And here's the other one, the timeline. You can change that. And also, if you want to alter, make the screen bigger or smaller, just hover over the tab that you want to make bigger or smaller. And you can move it and make bigger uh, the screen the size of, that you want. I usually use this main view to until I'm ready to use these other tabs as big or big as I can see how I collapse that you can still grab it if you collapse it um, by coming down here you see that how I did that I collapse it in this little arrow right here wait till the double arrow comes up then lift it back up with your left mouse button same way of hovering it I collapse it but you you can collapse all these to a bigger view to work and like I said the same way up here I just pull this tab and I this little black plus sign right here I guess it's a plus sign but you can see what I'm doing there see and yeah it's a plus sign and you can collapse it or make it as big as you want if I want to make it across that big that's what I do but I usually get rid of all these screens and I have a big space to work and then whenever you want to use different two and three different views or whatever you want to do in your workflow, you can do it that way. But anyway, I wanted to cover this very simple way to change your interface to however you want to move it around to. And it does come in handy whenever you get work views or work. It does come in handy whenever you have a workflow with multiple objects that you're working on on scenes or whatever you can jump back and forth it quickly um, I've done a video on that too if you want to check those out but anyway I appreciate you watching go ahead and thumbs me up and subscribe and, and this is Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment signing off